Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Dan Yonka, president of Mazak Corporation, here in our Center for Multitasking and Manufacturing Excellence in Florence, Kentucky. And I'd like to welcome you to the fourth episode of our All Axes Live event series. You know, I don't have to tell you, as manufacturers, that our industry continues to present daunting challenges. We're up against new disruptions in our supply chains, the loss of experienced employees through attrition, and a continued shortage of skilled labor. The only way to overcome these challenges and achieve success is to start integrating the advanced manufacturing technology that allows you to push your shop's limits and dominate the competition in a global marketplace. For today's event, we're demonstrating the real state-of-the-art in machine tool technology. We'll start at our Midwest Technology Center in Schaumburg, Illinois, where our team will show you why Mazak's new Integrex IH series represents the pinnacle of multitasking performance with a look at the Integrex I200HST, under power and cutting parts. Next, we'll come back to Kentucky for North America's first look at our new NEO models, the HCN 6800neo and the Variaxis i800neo, which represent the next generation of some of our most popular metal cutting solutions. Redesigned from the ground up, NEO machines offer faster performance, best-in-class features, and an expanded range of options, all in a smaller footprint. As you'll see, they're also built for automation, such as our Palatex system we've paired with the HCN 6800neo for today's demonstration. And for those of you still farming out your gear cutting work, you won't want to miss our live demonstration of optimized gear machining on an Integrex i630V Auto Gear Hybrid multitasking machine. Skiving, hobbing, milling, it's all possible on a common machine tool platform thanks to smooth gear cutting and Mazak multitasking. We'll also be looking at technologies like Mazak Megastir friction stir welding and friction bit joining, and how our spindle rebuild department maximizes your productivity by minimizing machine downtime. Plus, we'll take a deeper dive into our Mazatrol smooth AI control and show you how it simplifies program management with powerful open communications tools capable of working with Autodesk's Fusion 360 and other CAM solutions. Now is truly the ideal time to push your shop forward. And with Mazak as your partner, you'll have the technological edge required for manufacturing success. So let's get started with our host, Helen Henderson, who is with one of our latest arrivals from Japan. And welcome to All Axes Live. Thanks, Dan. And thanks to all of you for joining us today. My name's Thielen Henderson, and I'm a product specialist here at Mazak. I'm also your host for today's All Axes Live event. Before we get started, let's talk about what you can expect over the course of the next hour. On the left-hand side of your screen, you'll see our library of on-demand machine demos. If you want to check these out at any time, click away. You can always rejoin the main program whenever you're ready. If you've got questions, you can ask them at any time through the questions window on the right-hand side of your screen. We'll pause for Q&A after each module and then again at the end of the event. We'll try to answer as many questions as possible, but if we can't get to your question on air today, a Mazak representative will be in touch with you shortly to make sure you get all the information you need. Last episode, we showed you how Mazak is helping job shops both start and grow their businesses with our affordable new line of EZ products. Today, we'll show you how Mazak is pushing the limits of manufacturing to help OEMs, biomedical companies, aerospace suppliers, and job shops of every size take productivity to a new level. Every solution we show you today is designed to help grow your business by doing more in a single chucking and allowing you to make the best use of your strongest resource, your people. One of the best examples of how Mazak is doing more is directly behind me in the form of the VHP 160 XP. We call it the Profiler. With 160 horsepower spindle, 4200 millimeters in the X stroke and 1500 millimeters in Y, the Profiler takes a workpiece that is sitting horizontally and loads it into the machine vertically. With the 160 horsepower spindle, we can cut up to 600 cubic inches per minute of aircraft grade aluminum and one cubic inch of material removal creates five cubic inches of chips. Such 3,000 cubic inches of chips being removed per minute. 
Holding the part vertically means we can use gravity to assist with the chip removal. And with Mazak's box-in-box -box design, we do it with class-leading rigidity and accuracy. Now, as Dan mentioned, we have a lot to cover today. So let's get started with Joe Wilker, who's in our Midwest Technical Center, to tell us about the ninth generation of Enigrex machines. Joe? Thanks, Thielen. Hi, my name is Joe Wilker. I'm the hybrid multitasking product manager here at Mazak. I've been working with the Integrex line for the last 30 years. Today, we're going to introduce the ninth generation of the Integrex, the Integrex IH series that consists of five new machine models. This generation has been totally redesigned from the ground up with a focus on ease of automation, higher productivity, and increased part accuracy. Today, we're going to preview the new Integrex I200 HST. The first thing you may notice about the Integrex H-Series is the flat modular sheet metal design. This allows for the ease of automation to be at floor mounted or overhead gantry design. The second thing you'll no notice is that we've moved the tool magazine to the back of the machine. We did this for two reasons. One is to allow the operator access to the magazine during auto cycle. And two is to offer optional auto jaw changing for over the left and right spindles for a complete automated changeover of parts A, B, and C. To save the operator steps during setup, we can still load tools from the front of the machine. Let's now take a look at this large machining cube. The first noticeable thing is the parallel lower turret that provides 12 additional tool stations for simultaneous operations between spindles and is positioned 180 degrees below the mill spindle to allow for a robust pinch turning and pinch milling operations. We've redesigned the mill spindle to be more compact and more powerful to be able to handle a wide variety of exotic materials. Today, we're looking at the optional 12,032 horsepower mill spindle. With the compact design, we've actually increased the machining cube to handle up to 23 and a half inches of swing capacity. This is huge for this size platform. For the turning spindles, a two and a half inch bar capacity is standard on this machine and the left and right spindles are high power integral motor technology offering a full C-axis control for precise part positioning. Thank you. Joe, when I look in this machine, the first thing my eyes is drawn to is the new mill spindle. I mean, it looks just visually different. Can you tell me why we redesigned the spindle? Well, we did that for one reason, Thielen. Uh, that mill spindle is about 17% shorter in length. This, is, this gives us a tremendous amount of more clearance between uh, chuck faces for uh, part variations and uh, clearances between the spindles. And, and we've, all, we've also made it more powerful, right, for market demands? We did make it more powerful. This particular model has three different mill spindles available. The standard is a 15 or 16 horsepower mill spindle at 12,000 RPMs that can handle certain uh, um, types of materials. For exotic materials, we offer the 32 horsepower 12,000 RPMs. And for high speed con contouring applications, we offer a 32 horsepower 20,000 RPM. And, and what kind of tool connections are available with these spindles? Well, the, the North America standard is HSK uh, connection. We have an optional uh, Capto C6, and this uh, 200 is equipped with the Kennel Metal KM4X connection. Now, when I look at the front of this machine, I've noticed we no longer have the manual chuck adjustments. Well, why do we get rid of those? That's a very good question. What we've done with the uh, manual chuck pressures is we actually impose that into the new smooth AI control. So the operator can actually select his uh, chuck pressure during his part programming. So when we go from part A, B, and C, the chuck pressure is automatically adjusted. Just makes it more aut automation for ready. Ready for automation. All right, and lastly, the redesigned lower turret. We've mentioned the pinch churning and we've mentioned the pinch milling. Are there any other merits to this, this style? Yes, there is. Uh, with the parallel turret design, there is a lot more flexibility. 
we can actually mount a lower steady rest on the face of the uh, lower turret for uh, shaft support. We also can offer long boring tools in the lower uh, uh, turret to do deep boring applications uh, from the main spindle. Okay. Well, great. Well, Joe, let's see what this machine can do. Austin Ray is going to, our application engineer, is going to demonstrate the I200HS. Thanks, Joe. Let's cut some chips. So in this demo, we're just going to highlight a couple of different operations. The full video is available on demand. Um, up first, we've got a pinch turning operation. We're cutting 4140 steel at 220 thousandths depth of cut, 24 thousandths feed per rev, and 725 SFM. Austin, with a depth of cut like that, what's your spindle load like? We're pulling just at 100% load for this cut. So what's different about pinch turning with this type of Integrex versus the older styles? So with a newly designed lower turret, we can offer true pinch turning 180 degrees opposed. Um, the older Integrexes needed special tooling in the upper turret to allow for pinch turning and um, it, it wasn't directly under and above the, the part, it was offset and Y, upper turret was offset and Y. So that finishes up the pinch turning operation. Now we're going to go into pinch milling. And pinch milling is something that's never been possible in Mazak Integrexes before. So um, with the newly designed lower turret, again, it, it offers a new functionality. So what's the benefit of pinch milling? With pinch milling, we, can, we have balanced cutting forces and faster material removal. So you got two tools in the same cut at the same time. So that's the end of the cutting portion in head one. I've already got a piece of material set up in head two. Um, typically in production, you'd run uh, a transfer here and two-piece work mode, but for the sake of the demo here, we've already got it prepped and ready. So we're just gonna go right into cutting on head two. We've got the machine already set up for two-piece work mode, so the lower turret will be able to start cutting right away while the upper turret either changes tools or does an operation on head one. But uh, here we'll just see it um, prep itself with a drill for the second operation. Explain to me what two-piece work mode is. Two-piece work mode is when we have a piece in both spindles at the same time. So the turrets can switch back and forth between one spindle and the other, work together on the same spindle or separately. So it just it makes sure there's more time in the cut by using both the lower turret and the mill spindle working on different parts at the, at the same time. Correct, better spindle utilization. Oh, well thank you. Thanks Thielen, thanks Austin. That completes our I200HS demonstration today. Thank you for tuning in. And now let's get to your questions. Hey, thanks, Joe. Now, we do have a lot of great questions. The first one I want to get to is about the profiler, actually, so I get to answer a question. Uh, we were asked, does the profiler require a special foundation? Which is a great question because it's a giant machine. And the answer is yes. We suggest a 31 and a half inch concrete foundation on an isolation pad. But the way we designed this machine has a, a uh, put on a single base. So therefore, compared to a lot of comparable machines, the foundation is a lot less expensive. Now let's get to the IP bundle. Joe, the first question we got, we got this one a few times is, can I still get the old style lower turret on the H-Series machines? 
Thielen, yes, we can still get to nine position lower turret on all five of the IH series models. And why would a customer want that instead of adopting the new style? Well, for customers that have legacy Integrexes that have um, lower turret models, they wouldn't have to reprogram all their turret, all their uh, programs uh, in that lower turret. Oh, great. What H series machines are available with a large spindle bore? Uh, good question. Uh, there's so many applications that use four inch bar capacity. So we have several different models that we offer. Uh, 100 with a four inch bar capacity, the I 50 with a four inch bar capacity, and standard is the 450 uh, with an optional four inch bar capacity on the second spindle. Well, right. thank you so much, Joe. You're welcome. And, and now we're going to take a look at Mazak's new smooth AI controls. So almost all the machines you see today have Mazak's revolutionary new Smooth AI control on them. And while we could do a whole episode on the benefits of Smooth AI, today we want to give you three quick and easy ways that Smooth AI is making life better for job shops of all sizes. Joining me today is Mitch Nyer, Mazak Troll Technician located here in Florence, Kentucky. Good morning, Mitch. Good morning, Taylor. So tell me one way that the Smooth AI control is making shops more secure. Well, the Smooth AI is now standard with McAfee Embedded Security. Mm -hmm. uh, this will make you feel confident and safe knowing what is running on your machine. Give me one way that the Smooth AI is making shops more efficient. Well, the control itself is faster. We've doubled the memory, which makes the machine snappier and more responsive. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've increased the hard drive space so you can store more programs on your hard drive. Now, give me one way that the Smooth AI is more user friendly. Okay, well, I'd like to show you the uh, upgraded EIA screen. Okay. So here it's fully customizable. You can show uh, data over here on the right side. So here I have my tool data. Mm -hmm. And what I really want to show you is the G code list, which, dis which displays a full range of G codes. Okay. So for your new operators still learning G codes that are programming right at the machine, they can just pull this up and uh, reference quickly. Exactly. And then it also works for older operators who are a little more seasoned, but still could use the reminders. Yeah, so you could even go into this G-code, look at all the arguments that is associated with it, and insert it right into your program. Great. Well, hey, thank you, Mitch. Now we're going to take a look at the new Veriaxis i800neo with Jared Like. Hi, my name's Jared Like, and I'm the Machining Center Product Group Manager here at Mazak. The Variaxis series was introduced 18 years ago and is the leader of five-axis machining since its introduction in 2003. Today I'm happy to introduce you to the newest version of our most popular and best-selling Variaxis machine, the new Variaxis i800neo. First let's look at the new two-pallet changer. This redesigned sheet metal on the two-pallet changer operator panel makes it easier for an operator to load parts. This machine also allows for more clearance to load parts by crane by allowing you to travel past centerline on the pallet when loading parts. We have also redesigned the steel covers to allow the pallet to be lifted into the machine similar to a horizontal machining center. This machine now comes with four cone pallet clamping mechanism for stronger clamping force. The pallet is also compatible with the Mazak HCN 5000 HCN 5050 taper, and the Mazak Variaxis i700 5-axis machine. This machine has our Smooth AI control, which is our latest full 5-axis control. As you can see, we are running Autodesk Fusion 360 on the second monitor. We've increased the travel in X, the Y, and the Z-axis. We also now offer 415 millimeter long tools. The i800neo also has an increased feed rate by six meters per minute improving your overall throughput. Next, let's talk about the automatic tool changer. The machine behind me has the optional 40 tool magazine. When this machine has the 30 or 40 tool magazine, it is internal to the machine sheet metal. When the tool magazine expands to 80 or 120 tools, the magazine extends outside the standard sheet metal. By moving to a servo driven design, the machine can cycle through tools faster than ever before. The more tools, the more time saved. If you're interested in automating this machine, it can be integrated into a Mazak Palatech system. 
By using pellets that are common with our other machines, now it can be integrated with different models in the same system. To learn more about our Palatech systems, you can check out our on-demand video. Now this model also allows for integration into Mazex multi pallet pool system, allowing for customers with floor space limitations to install automated solutions. Our single table version of this machine can be equipped with auto doors and through table hydraulics or pneumatics for robot loading. The single table version also provides a larger maximum workpiece diameter. Thank you. Well, thank you, Jared. So let me ask, our new automatic tool changer, how much of a time savings really is that? Well, Taylor, the servo-driven ATC really helps out. We have, uh, on our 30 and 40 tool magazines, we don't see as much time saving just because there, it's a lot shorter distance for the ATC shifter to travel. Now, when we go up to the 80 and 120 tool magazines, there's a lot uh, longer travel in the ATC shifter. So we can see a lot of improvement in, uh, in tool change time on the larger magazines. But even on the small, the 30 and the 40 tool magazine, we can still see anywhere from 30 to 50% uh, tool change time improvement. Okay, Jared, so why does it matter that we have better crane access on this machine? Well, Taylor, on this new model on the i800neo, we now can offer 700 kilogram uh, workpiece capacity on the two pallet changer, which is improved from 500 on the previous model. So we definitely wanted to make it easy as possible for a, a customer to be able to load, you know, a heavy workpiece or heavy fixture in the two pallet changer area. And by allowing you to travel much past center line on the pallet, it is much easier to be able to load parts into this machine. And we're running Autodesk on the controls now. Can you tell me a little bit more about Autodesk? Yeah, absolutely. So this machine has our new Smooth AI. Uh, it's a full uh, simultaneous five axis control, as I mentioned before. And, and it has a second monitor. So on the, the second screen, we're running Autodesk Fusion 360. Uh, it's a very nice feature, being able to communicate between the control and the second screen. Uh, we're able to uh, import models from our control machine models into the, the Autodesk software. And it's really a, a neat feature that I think can help out a lot of customers. Yeah, that, that's cool. All right, well, Jared, thank you. Let's, uh, let's see what it can do. Thanks, Dylan. We're going to send it over to David next for the demo. Okay, David, so tell me a little, about, a little bit about what we're doing today. Well, we just got done probing the part. We want to find part location. And then we're going to go through a lot of Z-level roughing going to each side of the part. Gotcha. And, and what is the part we're cutting today? Uh, this is a pump housing, and it's made out of 6061 aluminum. This is some rest machining, getting some of the smaller areas that the larger tool couldn't get into. Oh yeah. Now, how did you program this part? This program is made up of 14 Mazatrol sub programs and 19 EIA sub programs. Oh, so it comes from both. Yep. Well, um, what was the merit of using Mazatrol instead of EIA in some of these situations? Um, Mazatrol is much easier to control the flat surfaces, the holes, the threading, um, the point tools that uh, typically are used in this part. Here you can see a drill that's going uh, Mazatrol program. So this machine is equipped with an additional monitor in the Smooth AI. How are, how are we using the second monitor? Well, I can use it to show the Autodesk function. Um, I can also use it to show a lot of the machine functions that get hidden while I'm actually running the program. Um, it gives me a second screen with a lot of choices more control and more information while you're standing right there at the machine. Absolutely. Here you can see a lot of the five axis motion, getting in and doing some of the blends between the features. And what are we doing here? We're gonna be drilling and tapping six holes and back to some five axis motion. Thanks, David. Uh, that concludes our uh, demonstration today on the, the Very Excess i800neo. Thank you. Now we'll take your questions.
Well, thanks, Jared. Uh, we do have a lot of great questions, so let's dig right in. First off, what other spindle options are available on this machine? Yes, uh, Taylor, we have many uh, spindle options on this machine. Uh, the standard spindle is a 10,000 RPM uh, Cat 50 spindle. We also offer a 7K, a 7,000 RPM high torque spindle, and also an 18,000 RPM spindle. All these spindles are offered in CAT50, CAT50 Big Plus, um, or uh, HSK. Uh, we also uh, offer a few uh, smaller taper spindles, uh, 18,000 and 25,000 um, in HSK 63. And then another question we have must come from an existing Mazak user. Can the new I-800 go into uh, an existing Palatex system? That's a very good question. So this new machine can go into an existing Palatech. However, there is a caveat. It does have to have the same uh, pallet clamping mechanism uh, as this new machine, uh, which we had discussed, the, the HCN 5000, um, 5050 taper. Um, so unfortunately, this new machine will not be um, able to be integrated into older I-800 systems. Um, but um, the good news there is we still will uh, manufacture the, the older uh, type machine to be okay. able to go into to those systems uh, for customers who currently have uh, the current I-800 model. Good. All right. Well, hey, thank you so much for your time, Jared. Thank you. Now we're going to go out to Provo, Utah and have a look inside Mazak Megacity. Hello, and welcome to Mazak Megaster. We are strategically located in Utah. This center specializes in engineered solutions of applied hybrid friction stir welding. Our team has extensive experience advancing solid state joining technologies combined with Mazak's 101 years worth of extensive machining center experience. Together, we are revolutionizing today's manufacturing. Mazak Megaster is fully prepared to support your needs for consulting, demonstration, and contract services. We also have a full engineering staff available to support with manufacturability of joining applications. Our solid state joining technical center is equipped with high thrust friction stir welding machines, robotic friction bit joining and friction stir welding capability, as well as Mazak's latest hybrid multitasking machine center. And behind me, at our hybrid machine, Russell, our industry expert in friction stir welding, has just set up for a combination of subtractive and joining machine operations arranged to create a complex tri-metal part with a push of one button. This is all made possible through automated tool changeouts and the use of Mazak Megaster's intelligent friction stir welding tool technology. Now I'm gonna hand it over to Bill Johnson who is our sales account manager here at Mazak Megaster. Bill will be talking about exciting new technologies in the realm of solid state joining. Take it away, Bill. Thanks, Dell. Good to be with everyone here today. Let's take a closer look at some of the things we're working on here at Mazak Megaster. Beyond our advancements of friction stir welding technology, we've pioneered and patented a new process known as friction bit joining. The key benefit of this process is it allows manufacturers to join dissimilar metals. The technology is used for a variety of applications in numerous industry sectors, ranging from automotive to semiconductor and space exploration. In today's automotive industry, for example, the ability to join two dissimilar alloys is key to making vehicles lighter and thus conserving energy, whether that's fossil fuels or electricity. In terms of in process integrity, the Mazak Megaster friction bit joining technology provides holding strength greater than traditional joining technologies. In fact, friction bed joining would be ideal to replace conventional riveting or self-piercing processes. A mechanical joining would fail to provide significant bond strength when joining two different materials. Friction bed joining generates a powerful metal metallurgical bond between the processes, consumable bit and the alloys being joined. We'd love to tell you more about the benefits of friction bit joining as well as other new developments underway here at Mazak Megaster. Give us a call or reach out to us to schedule a visit. Thanks for joining us here today. Thanks, Dale. Hi, my name is Mike Kirscher and I'm an application specialist and have a long history in the machine tool industry. I've worked here at Mazak for 16 years. 
Today I want to introduce you to the new Mazak HCN 6800neo Horizontal Machining Center. This machine is partnered with a single level Palatex starter system to automate the delivery of machine pallets. Today we're going to focus on the machine itself, but there's an on-demand video available to you if you want to learn more about the Palatech automation system. So back to the machine. The engine of any machining center is the spindle, and that's what's new here. It's the performance of the commonly used 10,000 and 8,000 RPM spindles. The new generation standard 10K spindle has a 23% increase in horsepower, and the new generation 8K spindle featured on this machine has a 50% increase in constant horsepower and a 26% increase in constant torque. Peak torque on this new 8K spindle is over 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. The other big what's new here is that the HCN 6800neo has the NC rotary table as a standard offering. This enhancement allows reaching features at eventually any angle and reducing the time because we don't have to lift the table like on a one degree table. Other items on this Neo machine increased, increased maximum tool length, a class leading pallet change time, reduced overall footprint, and even Windows 10 on the operating system of the control. All of this happens without raising the price of the machine. Thanks. Well, thanks Mike. Let me ask you, the increased tool length, what does that allow customers to do that they couldn't do before? Well, increased tool length is always a problem when you have a particular part where you just can't reach that, reach that feature. Mm -hmm. And now instead of having to go to a larger machine that has a larger envelope, you can actually reach those same features on the 6800 machine. And you mentioned increased torque. Uh what can that do for customers? Hey, increased torque is always valuable, especially when you're going to different materials. Uh, titaniums are, are, are the, the one material that really requires a lot of torque, but stainless steels, any of these, you can remove metal a little bit faster when you have more torque. More efficiency. Well, well great, Mike. Well, you know what? Let's see what the machine can do. Yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, have Ed Overman here, an application engineer here at Mazak, show you what the machine can do. All right, Ed, so tell me a little bit about what we're doing today. Uh, we're uh, machining a connecting rod for a diesel engine out of a solid billet. And what's the spindle load on that roughing cut? Uh, that cutter's drawn 80% spindle load. And tell me about what we're doing now. Uh, this is profile, it's profiling the outside neck of the connecting rod. Tell me about how you programmed this part. I programmed it in Mazatrol, um, standard at the control. I just used print dimensions. And wh why'd you program it in Mazatrol? Uh, it was easier to do. It took, well, it's going to take me less time. And what makes Mazatrol easier for you? Um, you don't really need a, a CAD CAM system to actually program it. You can just go ahead and input print dimensions right into, into the program. Excellent. And the conversational co uh, programming method converts it to code for toolpath. Ah, and then here's our long tool. So this can reach past centerline, right? Yes, sir. That's a 690 millimeter long tool. And we've never been able to, to use a tool this long in a machine like this, right? No, the maximum has always been 630, so it's 60 millimeters longer than maximum. Well, thank you, Ed. Thanks, Ed. And that concludes our demo on our connecting rod. Hey, thanks, Ed and Mike. And now we're going to take your questions. Well, hey, thanks so much, Mike. Sure. The first, the first question we got today is, is the one degree table still available? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, the machine, you can get it with a one degree table. And if you do, it's actually a credit option on the, on the machine. So, and then additionally, you can also get a direct drive table. Uh,
you want to go kind of high end, um, that table is really fast and actually measures the inertia load on the table and the rotational speed accordingly. Great. What tool connections are available with these new spindles? Um, yeah, they're, they're new spindles, but basically all of the classic uh, connections are still there. So, you know, normally Cat 50, but you can even get that in a BT style. And then, of course, you can get Plus and HSK. All right, well, hey, thank you so much, Mike. Sure enough, man. Now we're going to go across the street and give you a look inside Mazak's new spindle rebuild facility. We're standing inside Mazak's brand new spindle rebuild facility. And to tell us a little bit more about it is Matt Whistle, Mazak's rebuild spindle manager. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Taylor. How's it going? Well, thanks. So if a customer's spindle goes down and they contact us, what's the next step? So they're going to be transferred over to the National Parks Spindle Specialist. Mm -hmm. He'll determine if they need a brand new spindle or a rebuild spindle. Okay. And if they need a brand new spindle? He's going to look up their make and model and get that out to them same day. Same day. And if they need a rebuild spindle, then what happens? That's when it gets sent over to us. Mm -hmm. We're going to tear it down and we're going to quote it. We guarantee a 24-hour turnaround time on their quote mm -hmm. and three to five business working day turnaround on their spindle. So 24 hours to get the quote and then three to five days to get it out the door Correct. back in their hands. Yes. So why did we build this new facility? Keep customers downtime to a minimum. Okay. And what are some of the things we focused on when building it? The biggest thing is we needed flow and efficiency in this building where we didn't have it in the old building. So rebuild spindles take the same path we're taking right now. Old, uh, they come in one side and they just flow until they're finished. Correct. Right? Yes. Gotcha. And what are some of the other enhancements we did to make sure that we could hit that three to five day window? So the biggest thing for us we added this year was our spindle inventory on hand stock. So oh, okay. We hold about 2,500 different part numbers in there and we rotate about 5,000 parts through there on any given basis. And that's just inventory we keep on hand so we can respond to customer demands as quickly as possible. Correct, yes. So from a customer standpoint, what's the difference between a new spindle and a rebuilt spindle by us? So in the customer's eyes are identical. Mm -hmm. We use the same warranty process. It's one year, 4,000 hours. We use the same build sheets. We use the same components, and we also run them identically the same way. Okay. And in terms of uh, warranty and testing? Now that's one year, 4,000 hours. Okay. And that's both on the new spindle and the rebuild Correct. Spindle. Yes. Gotcha. And then tell me just a little bit about the quality testing. So the quality testing, we average 12 hours of runtime on each spindle. Mm -hmm. We can mechanically, electrically, and hydraulically run them off. They're all attached to bearing temperature monitors, so if there's ever an issue in the spindle, the test stand will shut itself down. And one big thing we do is vibration analysis on all the spindle. We benchmark that, we keep that for historic data. Mm -hmm. And if the customer has questions, they can view their monitor, their health, six months, 12 months out. We have that data in-house. Great. Well, thank you, Matt. Now we're going to join Joe Kramer, who's going to show us a little bit about Mazak's revolutionary new auto gear technology. Good morning, everyone. My name is Joe Kramer. I'm the Cybertech product manager here at Mazak. I've been in the machine tool industry for 47 years, the last 33 of which I've spent here at Mazak. Today, we're going to talk about our Integrex i630 Auto Gear Multitasking Machine. The i630 AG couples five axis machining and turning capabilities, but we've added the AG gear cutting package to this machine. This makes it what we call a hybrid multitasking machine. These machines go beyond just milling and turning by adding capabilities such as gear cutting or additive manufacturing. This machine now allows you to complete all of your machining requirements on one machine. You can do your turning and milling operations, even five axis milling, and then machine your gears on the same machine in the same setup. This allows for better throughput, better part quality due to reduced number of setups, and eliminates the need for a costly dedicated gear cutting machine. A lot of shops do not have enough gear cutting requirements to justify the purchase of expensive dedicated gear cutting machines, so those parts are typically jobbed out. The i630AG allows you to keep your gear cutting in-house, thereby improving throughput as well as reducing your overall cost. So what makes this machine so special? The AG package includes high precision rotary scales on both the mill spindle and the C-axis table. It also includes our new smooth AI control with our smooth gear cam software. 
which allows you to program your gears right on the CNC control. In the past, you had to use an outside CAM system for programming most types of gears. This allows you to enhance ability to efficiently cut gears without sacrificing the versatility. One of the main features on this machine is the tilting spindle head. This is one of the key elements allowing this machine to cut a wide variety of OD and ID gears such as helical, spur, splines, and straight or spiral bevel gears. This is done using a wide variety of machining methods such as hobbing, skiving, or gear milling. The other key element is the powerful direct drive turning table or DDM which is synchronized with the mill spindle using the dual high resolution rotary scale feedback system. This machine comes in both single or dual pallet configurations depending upon the customer's requirements. This particular machine is equipped with a two pallet changer. It can accommodate either manual chucks or fixtures or as an option it can handle hydraulic chucks and fixtures. It can also be integrated into our pallet tech system with other types of machines such as horizontal machining centers. Since a hybrid multitasking machine can do such a wide variety of operations, sometimes a large number of tools can be required. This particular machine has an 80 tool magazine, but it can be equipped with up to 348 tools and supports CAT, HSK, and CAPTO connections. Thank you. But thank you, Joe. So specifically, what kind of gears can this machine cut? Well, as we discussed, it cuts a wide variety of gears, just about anything you're going to encounter. Uh, spur gears, helical gears, both spiral bevel gears, straight bevel gears, uh, anything that you're going to encounter in your shop, the machine can handle. And when we add the auto gear package to a vertical integrex like we have in this machine, what specifically changes on the machine? Well, we add the twin high precision rotary scale feedback, one to the mill spindle, one to the turning spindle, that helps synchronize those two axes to improve the gear cutting capabilities. We add the smooth gear cam package, which adds all the CNC programming directly to the control for a wide variety of gear cutting. Now, as skilled operators are retiring, shops are having to do more with less every day. What does this machine do to help close the skills gap in manufacturing? Well, it's such a versatile machine. Probably the biggest thing is the onboard programming on the CNC. It basically is question and answer. It takes a little bit of the guesswork out of knowing what you have to put into the control to pr program and cut your different types of gears. Well, thanks Joe. Uh, we'd love to see a demo. Yeah, why don't we turn it over to Mike Finn, our application engineer, and he'll give you a demonstration on the capabilities of the i630 AG. Okay Mike, so tell me about this workpiece. Well, the workpiece is a, uh, it's a 2,000 pound gear that has an ID spur gear, a double helical gear, and an OD helical gear. And what are we doing right now with it? Right now we are turn milling using the C-axis and using the milling spindle to cut a deep groove in the OD of the part. Now that's just standard vertical integrex work, correct? Correct, a standard vertical integrex type work. Like even when we add the AG package to the machine, it still has all the versatility of your standard integrex machine. That's correct. And what, and what are we doing here? Right here we're showing a simple uh, 2D turning operation where we're cutting an apex groove in the double helical gear. And again, that's, that's prep work for the gear, but that's normal integrex. That's correct. But now we've gotten into the gear milling. Correct. Now what you see is uh, gear milling. So we're using the smooth gear milling software to develop the cutting program to mill the gear teeth. Okay, so this, this is when the AG package comes in, the software comes in, and it's easy to develop gears based on, on the software. That's correct. The, the user inputs the gearing information, the tooling information, and the cutting conditions, and the software will automatically generate the tool path. And here's an image of the, the software we use, correct? Correct. This is the graphical user interface of the smooth gear milling software. Now, when programming a gear, you can do that right at the machine. Correct, right at the machine. Just fill in the uh, text fields and the software will automatically generate the tool path. And is that, I mean, in the past, how, how have uh, companies cut gears like this before? In, in the past, companies have used uh, CAD CAM systems to develop the tool path. And all that, that so that has to be done offline. It's not something Correct, that be it's done all right done offline. 
interesting. So yeah, just fill in the field and then the, the control will generate all the speeds, feeds, and gear paths, right? That's correct. It'll, it'll, it'll generate the tool path. However, the, the user has to define the cutting conditions, such, such as feeds and speeds. And now we've gotten into gear skiving. Correct. So what you see here is uh, OD smooth gear skiving. So we're cutting the right hand helical gear of the double helical gear. And this is when the upgrades to the spindle and the table really start to matter, so they're perfectly synced. That's correct. So the smooth gear milling software uh, works with the rotary scale feedback of the, of the milling spindle and the turning spindle to uh, enable the proper RPM for, for power skiving operations. And usually this is done on a dedicated gear machine. Correct. Correct. These type of operations are typically done on power skiving machines. Okay. But when using a machine like this, you also still have the capabilities of the other Integrex uh, machines. That's correct. You can still do 2D turning operations, two and a half to up to five axis milling operations. And tell me about what we're seeing now. So what we're, uh, what we're doing now is we're cutting the ID spur gear. So ID power skiving and OD power skiving is the same operation. However, in an ID application, the turning spindle and the milling spindle rotate in the same direction. However, in an OD application, the spindles rotate in an opposite direction. But you don't need to worry about that because the, the smooth gear skiving software automatically takes care of that for you. And now this to me looks like part pro. Correct. What we're doing is we're actually scanning the lead of the tooth profile. Okay. And what's the difference between that and probing a part? Well, on a probing a part, you just take one hit. Here we're taking thousands of points along the lead of the uh, tooth flank and also the profile. To ensure quality. Correct. And there's our finished part. Hey, thanks, Mike, and thank you, Joe. That concludes our demonstrations for today. We'll now take some questions from our customers. Thank you. Well, thank you, Mike. Thank so, you. The first question we got really gets to the, uh, the good one, gets to the point. What's the benefit of gear cutting on an Integrex versus traditional methods? Okay. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a number of benefits. Uh, to name a few uh, would be the reduced setups. Mm -hmm. And uh, that leads to reduced fixturing and less part handling. Uh, another benefit is uh, the ability to finish machine critical features such as gear teeth and spline teeth and the datum surfaces and diameters within the same setup. Can your machine do crowning? Okay, uh, good question. Yes, uh, the smooth gear software uh, accommodates crowning. Now, the, the smooth gear hopping software and smooth gear skiving software can perform lead crowning, and the smooth gear milling software can perform both lead and profile crowning. Okay. Uh, and finally, if you need to stop the spindle, how do you do it? Okay, that, that's that's a really good question. Yeah, uh, particularly for hopping and skiving. So in the smooth gear hopping software and smooth gear skiving software, uh, it enables the user to safely retract the tool away from the workpiece mm -hmm. while safely stopping the spindles upon pressing the escape button on the control panel. All right, well, thank you very much, Mike. Well, thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Now that you've seen firsthand what this new technology can do, I want you to ask yourself, are you ready to push the limits? If you are ready, let's talk. Simply type us a note in the question box on the right-hand side of your screen and a Mazak representative will contact you. 
You can also visit Mazak's new Virtual Technology Center, which features a host of new Mazak technology. Here you can see 3D animated models, review machine specs, download information, watch videos, and more. Our 360 degree Kentucky Factory virtual tour is live now to give you a first hand look at our campus from the comfort of your home or office. You can visit both the Virtual Technology Center and 360 degree tour at mazakusa.com. And as always, your Mazak sales representative is ready to assist you. Give us a call to set up a visit to one of our eight regional technology centers or five technical centers to discuss the new technology you saw today, as well as the full range of solutions Mazak has to offer, including the EZ machines you saw at our All Axes Live December event. COVID-19 protocols are in place at each location, including our factory here in Florence, Kentucky, so you can visit safely. Thank you again for joining us today. Be on the lookout for your invitation to our next All Axes Live event. We've got more great things in store. And we look forward to hearing from you and working with you. Because here at Mazak, as we always say, together, success.